Hello guys and welcome. This is the all new 2021 Mercedes AMG GLS 63 Formatic Plus and in this video I want to show you this beautiful performance SUV from Falterbach. So this is one of the roomiest but also one of the most luxurious SUV AMG. So from the design perspective this is very very beautiful and quite different to the regular GLS. And this one has also really great spec, so I'm really curious to see what they will say about this car. But now let's check out the engine bay. So this is the 4.0 liter V8 by Turbo engine, which is handcrafted in Falterbach by One Man One Engine. You can see the emblem there, and this car has also carbon fiber engine cover. So this engine has power of 450 kilowatts, 612 horsepower. 850 newton meters of torque, 626 pound feet of torque, and can sprint from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour in only 4.2 seconds. The top speed is 280 kilometers per hour or 174 miles per hour with AMG driver's package. And in the same way as in the GLE 63S, this 4.0 liter V8 engine is electrified with 48 volt electrical system and internet it started generating which includes boost function, which is so-called the EQ boost. So the ISG gives you 22 horsepower and 250 Nm of torque. So thanks to that you have explosive power delivery with finely controllable power output. And these twin scroll turbochargers are located between the cylinder heads for a better response. This engine is paired to AMG Speedshift TCT9G gearbox, so torque converter. And this is Performance Formatic Plus all-wheel drive system. So now let's start the car and check out this beautiful V8 Rumble. Also this is the key fob. If you like this GLS 63 AMG, then don't forget to like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, turn on all notifications, and let me know which would be your dream spec of the GLS 63 in the comment section down below. Alright guys, so looking at the front of the vehicle, you can see the openings for the ventilation on each side of the front bumper. We have A shape of the front bumper, looks really muscular and very sporty. So the GLS 63 looks really different to the GLS non-AMG version like 580 or other engine variants. We have also multi-beam LED headlights and these beautiful wheels in matte black. So these are 23 inch AMG multi-spoke forged wheels painted in matte black with high sheen rim flange. You have also option for 22 inch AMG multi-spoke light yellow wheels. We have Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, which are one of the best road tires, definitely. So in terms of the stopping power, you have option for ceramic brakes. But here we can see that these are high performance composite brakes with red calipers. Looks absolutely fantastic. And the tire size for the front is 285, 40 and 23 inch. So let me know what you think about these wheels. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. We have V8 Biterbo Formatic Plus on the front fender. And you can see the head-up display through the front windshield. We have also these side steps with a rubber. So it's not slippery when you are stepping into the car. We have also night package. So window trim is blacked out. A really great black spec in my opinion. As you can see here. So now we can check out from the rear the design of this car and also the rear tires, the rear tire size. So these are 325, 35, 23 inch as well. So much wider at the rear because you need that for more traction with bigger vehicles. And at the rear we can see AMG badge on the left side of the boot. And on the right side there is a GLS 63. We have four exhaust tips. Look at this beautiful shape. Absolutely gorgeous, this large GLS, the S-Class among the SUVs, and here in AMG version, really powerful and muscular. So it really has this powerful design in my opinion, 
which I really like. We have also this chrome line between the tail lamps. So as you can see, AMG badge on the left side and GLS 63 on the right side. We have a new design of the LED tail lamps and four exhaust pipes here in high gloss black because this is night package car. Otherwise, the exhaust tips would be in chrome. And also we have beautiful diffuser with four fins. So really great design touch to let you know that you have AMG version. We have also the AMG logos in the exhaust tips engraved. And also the exhaust tips are like 3D shape. So the new design for the exhaust tips and absolutely gorgeous in obsidian black metallic from the AMG and Mercedes. Really classic and looks absolutely perfect. So here under the fuel cup, we can see the recommended tire pressures as well as the top speed, which is 280 km per hour or 174 miles per hour with AMG driver's package. And you should use 98 or more octane in this car and daily the, the best fuel which you can get at the gas station. So we will soon check out the interior guys. We can see also the power domes on the front bonnet. It looks really muscular and powerful and beautiful AMG grill at the front. This gives the car a really great road presence in my opinion. Looks very different to a non-AMG version. As you can see with AMG night package this is really fantastic spec in my opinion. So let me know what you think about this black blacked out spec. And guys now we can check out this amazing interior. Alright guys so let's check out the interior here. So as you can see we have carbon decor, Burmester, high-end, hi-fi system. We have black exclusive AMG Napa leather with diamond stitching here. And perforation, so seats are ventilated as well as heated. You can control the passenger seat with this button too. We have buttons here for the windows and mirrors. You can open boot lid and boot with this one. AMG floor mats. Fire extinguisher. Aluminium pedals with rubber dots. Controls for the lights. Alright guys, so this is a beautiful AMG performance steering wheel with carbon fiber and Dynamica. Let's open the sunroof. You can see here, you can open it like for ventilation or here to have more air. And here you can see the new MBUX system, two 12.3 inch screens in the GLS 63. So these are the seats, very comfortable. You can see also speaker there for the Burmester. Illuminated on the side. And beautiful carbon fiber decor. How cool is this? Also here in the middle, you can see covered in leather and stitched. So this is uh, probably BUX system which you already seen, but if you haven't, and with this part you control the dashboard and with this panel steering wheel you can control the middle screen also by a touch so it's touch screen and also here with this touchpad so just quickly i want to show you you can change this is super sport and you can have it in classic which is like a blue team and you can change what is in each dial then you can have a sport, which is the same color, which is the same shape, but different color. This is a yellow and gray. And then my favorite is a super sport, which as you can see has a central dial and on the sides you can see speed and we can also change it up how you want. You can see also one speaker there, 
everything is illuminated also one here and one is also here in the doors very nicely wrapped Dynamica with carbon. This is the best looking steering wheel, one of the best, if not the best, in my opinion, for the AMG. And here you can see you have navigation, comfort, media, radio. In terms of comfort, you can have a seat, massage, all kinds of comfort features, seat comfort. So, yeah, I'm uh, so here you can see seat kinetics, lumbar support. You can have a side bolsters, seat heating balance, or reset. And massage, hot relaxing back, hot relaxing shoulder, activating massage, classic massage, wave massage, mobilizing, active workout, active workout cushion. And we have also energizing cover, which combines ambient lighting massage and also perfume diffuser so you can have a special feeling inside of the car also here in the glove compartment should be placed yes for the perfume diffuser and the glove compartment is quite quite big you can store some things there so here in central multimedia screen you can also have a track pace and you can see circuits, drag race, telemetry. So you have uh, more than 60 different parameters to check. AMG performance. This one shows you the vehicle, how much each wheel is using the power, how much gas brake. If we change this into the Sport Plus, then you will see different layout, different color scheme like red. And in the engine, you can see engine output, engine torque, and temperature of the oil, and also of the um, transmission oil. For example, if I start the car now. You can see how it started. I just want to film a, if I film a cold start again, so I'm not gonna leave the engine running. Consumption, uh, you can see here. Dynamic side, this is for the driving modes. So essentially here on the middle tunnel with this switch, you can change the driving modes. So the most aggressive is Sport Plus. So the, so the terrain is sand, then we have trail, this is for like a mud, slippery is for snow, individual is, uh, you can set up how you want, comfort is classic in this mode engine starts, and then we have sport, and sport plus is the most uh, aggressive. Then we have apps like Mercedes Mio, you can control car remotely, and Apple CarPlay, Mercedes B Store, and in settings you have a bunch of settings like a quick access into the parking, then you have active lane keeping assist so the car can keep lane that straight, then stop and go traffic, then you have anti tow protection, head up display, active steering assist so the car can steer with the, with the steering wheel in the lane interim motion sensor so this is like alarm and this is uh, if you go down from the hill this function which can lower one side so it's easier to jump in the car for you and then you have a car wash mode so this this mode will actually fold mirrors close doors and do everything to prepare it for a car wash and then we have a tow hook for the trailer in assistance you can control camera parking traffic assist so here in camera you can control how it should work so it can recognize traffic signs and more detail settings then in vehicle you can you have another setting so you can adjust basically anything in this car uh, how you like it with lights as well. 
so ambient lights I can show you we have 64 single colors and multicolor options I think you saw it it's not really like uh, very visible now but you can see it but it's not like during night during night uh, it's it's much better to see it so uh, yeah I cannot show you that right now but uh, I will leave it here in uh, in blue to scroll down you have like teams adventure trip love so this will change everything based on that and you have also like favorites okay in navigation we have large screen for navigation you can have a head north or a head uh, in 3d in the direction of your travel or 2d so really good system like I, I really like this and then in the middle you have this roll cover so you can open it you have wireless charging for your phone two cup holders and you can call cool or heat up uh, the drinks here you can see the red is to to warm it up and blue one is to cool it down so these walls as you can see these are from metal so that one will cold or heat up with trackpad uh, this touchpad you operate um, a screen and we have also the for the driving modes 360 cameras car settings favorite navigation map so these are shortcuts for all the things here we have manual transmission turn off stabilization raise or lower the car suspension and exhaust button so you can have the exhaust balanced or powerful and this one is for suspension so all in all just a fantastic interior you can see on the top as well on the top you have uh, another speaker controls for the roof and light buttons also you can see here the mirror with light we have also like two sun visor so double so this is actually a very good feature i tried it in different car you can see mi microphones here so you can call with someone that very easily you will be heard and in the middle you can see you have a compartment for the storage under the armrest with usb support leather is really good quality it smells very good and also it's very soft to touch dynamica is present here which is like alcantara material and otherwise it's napa leather so this is like black on black spec cannot go wrong with this so let me know most of the people will like this spec anyway so i think it's uh, really cannot go wrong basically everyone should like this now let's check out the rear second and third row okay so i set the seat as i would drive so you can see here covers for the sun against the sun you can lower it i think electrically we have also the tv so let's hop inside each passenger has their own screen and you can control here the mbux so you can control navigation and input your destination here and then the driver should see it as well then you have radio media comfort so you can change the ambient lighting as well you can have seat settings seat climate control ambient lights sun blinds so you can open all you see and you can close all also here on the top the whole roof is panoramic interior is unbelievable really great you can see also here you can control the ac this is four zone ac unit and you have also usb -C ports here and this is like ashtray or some storage you can see also here the seats are beautifully made with stitching diamond stitching and dynamica 
So in the middle we have armrest. This is like two hidden cup holders with another storage space. Very nice and wide for each passenger hand arm. And you have also middle seat, but these two are more comfortable. But you can fit three people here. That's not an issue. And this is also underneath here is Isofix for a child seat. And we have also third row. And you can see speaker there, there, and also here in here is also one went and lights. Microphone, so total comfort here in the second row of the GLS 63. You can see the front, how the interior looks from the rear. Really premium and comfortable interior. Okay, so now let's check out the third row. So you can open it here. With this button. So it's fully electric. So I said once here, it is manageable to fit here. And I'm 187 centimeters or six feet and two inches. But most of the time the kids will sit there. And for the kids, this is a uh, plenty of space. Illuminated MG logo here. It, it is here as well. How much space I have for my knees? I have a lot of space. So also like 15 centimeters and you can move it forward and backwards. And this is the most backwards. So easily like 20 centimeters. And the most forward position is like this. So still I have like three, two, three inches six centimeters of, of space so still doable and at the rear they have a lot more space uh, in this case and also the roof as you can see it's curved so you have the same space also at the rear so no issue so you can comfortably sit here in, in a, as a seven people so great family powerful cruiser what's not to like okay so now let's open the boot and check out here the luggage compartment so this is how much space you have when you have a seven seat setup and it's not a lot it's not a small boot space is like in hatchback i would say a little bit less maybe so still we can put some stuff, you can also fold here the seats, we have see, you can see here three L, three right, so three left, three right, so third row. And here you can see how it lowers. So now you can see how much space do you have. So now this is a proper, so you can actually also this cover, you can have it like this if you have seven seats, but if you have a third row down, then you can put it think there yes and there then you have this huge space so if you don't use third row you can use a lot more a luggage space and it's very comfortable that it is uh, automatic you don't have to do it manually for example here the, the right one you can do it individually Now I'm not going to put uh, all these seats down, but you can do that if you want. So here underneath you have also capacity quite large actually. And you have some other stuff like Burmester has I think uh, subwoofer there and repair kit. So a lot of vests. So actually very, very huge luggage compartment yeah, in the GLE. Also here you have a 12 volt socket if you need that and some hangers for bags. You can also tow a trailer if you need that. It's fully automatic. So ultimate luxury and luggage practicality here with the GLS 63 is amazing.
or I guess so that's it for this video. Let me know what you think about this beautiful GLS 63 and is this your dream AMG SUV? Let me know in the comment section down below. So guys, stay tuned for other videos coming to the channel. Thank you very much for your support. I will see you soon in the next video. Have a wonderful day.